And President Biden is undergoing his annual physical exam today. The president has faced questions about whether his age could preclude him from running for re-election. Yesterday, Republican former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley kicked off her campaign for the GOP nomination, proposing a mental competency test for politicians over 75. White House correspondent Karen Travers joins me live now for more on this. Uh, Karen, thanks for coming on. I know you talk to radio hosts across America every day. So what are they focused on when it comes to President Biden's health? Yeah, Diane, tying that physical today that the president is getting to that potential re-election campaign for the 80-year-old president. The president said in a recent interview that he is a big believer in fate and that if there were some health reasons that would prevent him from doing his job fully, he would be honest with the American people. Today, we'll get details from his doctor about his health and how he's doing. When he had his physical in November 2021, his doctor said he was healthy, he was vigorous, and he was fit for duty, but did notice two things compared to previous exams, a stiffened gait, a little difference in his walk, and more frequent throat clearing. Diane, two big differences from that physical a year and a half ago. He's had COVID since then. He had that rebound case of COVID after taking Paxlovid, and we all remember when the president fell off his bike in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, but of course he didn't require medical attention. So the White House is expecting he'll get another clean bill of health. We should get that from his doctor later today. And what's the reaction to Nikki Haley's campaign and her proposal of a mental competency test for older politicians? You know, the White House does not want to talk about politics, and the uh, press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, defers all questions about any potential campaign, but they'll say this is a president who shows how competent he is out there when he does events, that he does multiple events a day, that he is healthy, he is vigorous, and that he demonstrates his ability to do the job by doing the job. Meanwhile, we're also now learning that the FBI recently searched two locations at the University of Delaware as part of the investigation into President Biden's handling of classified documents. Now, sources say agents did not recover any records with classified markings. So what do we know about what they did find, and how is the White House responding to all of this? The White House is not commenting on this, Diane. A spokesperson for the special counsel here at the White House referred questions to the Justice Department. The Justice Department did not comment on this. But we do know that there were two different days where there were searches by the FBI at the University of Delaware as part of that special counsel investigation. Uh, the searches did not uncover any materials with classified markings, but we are told that the investigators did retrieve some materials materials that they did take for further review. This is all part of the process right now of going back and looking at any place where the president lived, where he worked, where he might have had any documents, just to make sure that there wasn't anything that should be properly stored by the government that right now might be inappropriately stored by the government. That University of Delaware has a lot of things that belong to the president from his 36 years as a senator. According to their, White House, to their website, Diane, that university has a material that could fill 1,800 boxes, a lot of things to potentially go through. All right, White House correspondent Karen Travers, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.